Next, we are going to fly an approach that truly shows how WAS improves instrument approach operations. The RNAV GPS-29 in Hamilton, Ohio has four different minima lines listed. These are dependent on how you want to fly the approach. The lower two, circling and LNAV minima, are based on flying the approach using step-down fixes for the descent. The upper two minima refer to types of approaches with vertical guidance, or APV. Ideally, we would always fly the LPV approach if WAS coverage permits, since it provides an electronic glide path and typically the lowest minima for an RNAV approach. It's possible at some airports that an LPV approach may not always be available due to WAS outages. When flight planning, look for a W symbol at the top of an RNAV approach chart. This indicates the outage of WAS vertical guidance may occur daily at this location due to initial system limitations. Accordingly, the FAA will not publish WAS outage notams at these locations. When flying to airports without the W symbol, check for WAS notams during pre-flight preparation. This is especially important if an LPV approach is your only option due to weather. Now back to the LPV approach at Hamilton. We first press the procedure button and select the RNAV Runway 29 approach from the list. Since we are in a radar environment and Cincinnati Approach advised to expect vectors, we select that option as the entry method and activate it. Notice that the flight mode enunciation indicates LPV, meaning that the 430W is ready to fly this type of RNAV approach. We have been vectored onto the final approach course, a critical time to pay attention to the flight mode enunciation. When 60 seconds from the final approach fix, Holger on this approach, the 430W will perform GPS position integrity checks to ensure all parameters are within limits. If everything checks out, LPV will continue to be displayed and highlighted in green. If for some reason the required integrity is not available to generate an electronic glide path, the system will downgrade the approach to LNAV and display the message, Approach Downgraded, use LNAV minima. It's okay to continue the approach at this point. However, you'll fly the procedure like a traditional GPS LNAV approach using the respective minima. Assuming that all indications and integrity evaluations are normal, the glide path will come alive near the final approach fix. After intercepting the glide path, fly the approach like an ILS. Remember, the lateral course sensitivity will increase steadily as you near the runway, just like a localizer. The missed approach point is identified by reaching the decision altitude on glide path. If when arriving at the DA, you have the required visibility and runway environment in sight, you should follow the glide path down to the runway. If the runway is not in sight at the decision altitude, you must initiate the missed approach immediately. Do not continue looking for the runway at the published decision altitude. It's not an MDA. Press the OBS button on the GPS and execute the missed approach.